Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, mm. Stanley. All right, we in with Power Book Ghost, episode it's... two, Cephalus Acts. Let me go ahead and get this out the way because you're going to see it and y'all going to ask. I ended up having to have surgery. If you follow us on our lifestyle channel, you would know that I fell my tail down in Jamaica, long story short. Yeah, I done real. <laughs> <laughs> had to get surgery to get my daggone ligament repaired. Yeah. So hopefully this will be a thing in the past come this Friday. Yeah. And I can be in a brace. Because this this ain't the business. I'm, <laughs> I'm over it all freaking ready. But let's go ahead and get into this episode. Listen, they came with the ooeys and Yeah. The, what the hell? This week? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did. But uh, before we get started... Hope you guys had a fabulous Thanksgiving. Hope Absolutely. you enjoyed your family. And let us know, man, are you still eating leftovers or have you thrown you them away yet? <laughs> but let me Because always leftovers are always the best the next day. They are, but shameless plug. If you're not watching our lifestyle channel, just watch this one video. My husband, because I'm down right now, he took on the task of cooking Thanksgiving dinner. For the first time. For the first time. And, and not only done. just for our household, but for our family. Yeah. And I was like, this is a lot of pressure because Stanley yeah. is not the cook. Nah. He's the breakfast guy. Yeah. But we're going <laughs> to link that below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all let him know that he did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate it. So uh, let's get on into power this week, man. So, all right. So we come into this episode kind of picking up off where we was at last episode where Tariq got the call on the burner phone from the detective. And he was in panic mode because now... They know that the person who has something to do with Jabari's death is at Stansfield. So we come into this episode, he having a dream. And in the dream, he's standing by that little fire pit that Tasha and him used to throw everything in once Ghost killed somebody or Tommy killed somebody. And Kanan showed up by his side was like, basically, it's too late now. Uh, your mama can't help you. Do you need your mama? And so basically... The drink meant to me that he needed to get rid of the burner phone because by now I thought he would have got rid of it. But that's his only connection with his, with, mom. With his mom. Yeah, exactly. So in the middle of the dream, we hear boo, 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 on the door. And I was like, there it is. The detective is there to question Tariq about the, the murder. murder of Jabari. But to our surprise, they picked Tariq up, took him down to the police that station. That was so dramatic. Yeah, because Grandma <laughs> just started drinking and caught a DUI, DWI charge to hit a parked car where her and Yaz is in there. So at this time, Tariq is hot. Like, Grandma, what is you doing? Why is, why is you driving around, you know, drunk? She and read him for his she life. She was though. like, wait a minute. Time like 62. I'm 62 years old. I'm tired. I'm having to take care of y'all. Your, your mama is missing. Your daddy is dead. <laughs> so it's like... We already buried Raina. Yeah, buried Raina. So this is like too much. So if I want to take a drink... Or two. Or two, I can do it. And I was like, you know what, Grandma? You kind of got a point on that one. I feel you. But, but she, not yes. to the point that you driving around yes in the car. But That's not justifiable, though. Was yet, she had the night off. Yes, oh, yeah. was supposed to be at right. a sleepover. That's right. I don't know if she just didn't want to beat it. We don't know the particulars. But either way, she had to get in the car with oh yes in the car. And that's why she got caught with the DWI. Because she's supposed to be in her night pajamas, drinking her yak, and listening to some slow grinds. <laughs> and all of that came to a screech of hope. Because and that turned into hitting the park car. And that turned into hitting the park car. Dang, but, Grandma. But why they had her in that sound, kind of prison, though? <laughs> and, oh, that's how they had... That's how, well, I mean, I yeah. wouldn't know. But. I wouldn't, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, really hardcore for hitting a parked car with w DWI. But that's what they do. That's what they do. But uh, but we did see later on in the episode that the detective did end up meeting with Tariq to ask him some questions because he had saw that Tariq had some interactions with Jabari, uh, like, a day before... That he got shot, so... But he uh, claimed he was interviewing everybody. Right. So, the uh, detective was like, you know, what do you know about Jabari? You know, do you know anything about what they had going on between her and um, Professor yeah. Ingram? So, he was like, well, I actually do. I was at this, um, <laughs> this dinner and... A heated argument broke out. <laughs> and she'll tell you about Lauren will tell you about it. Yeah. Lauren will tell you about it? It was at her house. <laughs> I was like, oh. 
Yeah. But at this point, when it comes down, I'm like, one of the first things, maybe I watched First 48 too much <laughs> uh, in the past. I don't watch it like that no more. But I'm like, y'all haven't did any fingerprints on a murder weapon yet? Because the weapon they used was Maria. Mar- Mar- I can never. Mar- yeah. Mar- 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 that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can never say his name right. And he a police officer. So the moment that they run the prints, that should come think, back immediately. I think they had gloves on. If I'm not mistaken, it's been it was last. No, 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 no. I'm saying because they they trying to frame Ramirez for the murder, so his fingerprints is on that gun. Right. So I'm like, y'all haven't ran the fingerprints on that gun yet, to you know at least rule that out. You going after the burnt, but I don't know. I I don't I don't know law, but I, I just thought, no thought I just <laughs> thought by now that they would have at least ruled out the murder weapon by now. But hey, that's that's. I might be saying it don't even matter. But like y'all was saying in the comments uh, last about the burner phone, y'all was like, Tariq is kind of showing his amateur side that he's, he's like, he act like ghosts, but he not fully ghosts because ghosts would have two, three, four, five, six burner phones. And then when that happened, he would have been got rid of that burner phone. I don't care who was attached to the other end of it, you know, because in the game, there is no feelings. Yeah, you, can't, you can't be attached to that stuff where the police can get back to you. So. Well, one burner phone should have been for his mama. Solo dolo. Right. So when this happens, you won't le- lose your connection with your mom. Right. You can lose your connection with all that other skit. Yep. So we saw finally in the episode that Tariq went to, uh, I guess it, what was it, uh, an initiation, what do you call it? Uh, oh, when they get, um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at the college. We're with tired. The, <laughs> yeah. With the, with the fire burner and everything. And um, he decided to throw the burner phone in the fire. But before then, you remember Ledge. back. Yeah, the pledge. Yeah, but before then, you remember he was that he had came in to talk to um, Professor Igram uh, about what was going on with Yaz, and we're gonna get to Tate, but Tate oh teach, the Tate, Tate the teacher down at the school. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But when she was talking to him, Tate came and was like, "I need to talk to you about something." So she talked to Tate, came back in, but when she was out there with Tate, Tariq was thinking about taking the burner phone and planting it in her desk. And I was like, I was like, I was like, Tariq, I know you need to get this up off of you, but not her. Don't bro. do that to her. Don't do that to her, bro. You know, cause she been she been helping you, but it, but then again, it's the game. Yeah. So yeah, so at that point we didn't see what he did. So by the time she came back in there from talking to Tate, he had left out. So I had thought by him doing that that he had actually gave dropped that off. dropped it off and he was heading on out. But since we on Tate, let's talk about Tate. So we know from last episode that Tate wants to take Congress Sweeney's spot, but he need to find some dirt on him. So in this episode, we see him go and talk to Simon out of all people, Simon. So Simon was like, I don't want to hear nothing about no Sweeney. I need <laughs> you to go down to Stansville because that's a better position and you need to fill that spot because that's going to be a better look for you and for the headlines in the paper. I was like, here we go, Simon. Uh-huh. So he'd be right when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, he, yeah, but he was like, I don't want Tate was like, I don't want nothing to do with none of that. I just, I just need to get some dirt on Congress Sweeney. He was like, Well, if you do that, I got you. Sweeney used to be used to go to uh, <laughs> to Stansfield. Uh, then also go online and look up their Chronicle Study um, program and see what you see. And he pulled them, of course, seeing Carrie. He was like, Well, you know me. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we got him down there teaching. At the college, but he not teaching because he's trying to get information on mm-hmm. on swinging. So uh, we swing back now, back at the house. Diana is talking to Monet and like, you know what? I need to go back to school and get my MBA in accounting because you know when Z go pro, we gonna need somebody. We to need somebody money. to freaking protect the money because you did you know the statistics say you know you gotta get the facts. You gotta have the facts, like Martel said. You gotta come with the facts that within five years. NBA players used to go broke. I didn't know it was that fast. Zeke going to be two. <laughs> so she was like, I need to get my NBA. So I guess she was like, no. Uh-uh. I see your game. Monet was like, I see your game. You just want to get down there with, Tar- with Tariq. With Tariq. <laughs> Tariq. But I was like, she got a good point. Yeah. Because for real, for real, I love us black folk. We want a whole lot of money, but we don't ever want to learn how to manage it. We want That's it. We want to make a whole lot of it, but we don't want to learn how to keep it. So... Mm-hmm. I do appreciate her thinking that I, yeah. she do want to get down there with Tariq, yes, but, I, but I but I do appreciate she wanted to 
go to down to the school to to get that. But also, we see that this episode she had a run in with Effie, and I I'm like so confused. We got so confused because yeah. <laughs> we had saw Mama in last last episode Monet and Diana was putting putting the coke in those. Bag. Designer bags. And you remember they got to reap to 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 distribute them. So this week, come to find out, they took the drugs to Effie, but they were ran over. That's but like, what? But when the information got back to Monet, she was like, Rico. I'm Rico. I'm so glad I killed them. I guess we haven't deserved the night. And Drew was like, She took that way too like, easy. Like did did that? Did that really just happen? Did that happen? Because we know fake product in the street could get you killed. Get you killed quick. But she was like, oh, okay. so, so unbothered. So that's when I just started saying, I said, <laughs> why that back? Yeah, like what? Because did I miss something here? Yeah. What? She she took that wig too well. So that's how she ended up meeting Effie and, you know, it was kind of a little tense in that room because the first thing Tariq has got the girl just he falling got all everywhere. Over. He got Lauren, he got Diane, he got Effie. Effie. I mean, yeah, he's definitely ghost son. <laughs> for <laughs> real, for real. So she uh ended up coming back and talking to Effie, be like, uh, I need to get in school, but I also want to push weight also. And she was like, How you do it? How you do it? I need some help. I was like, okay, okay. She was like, Well, it's hard. So I'm I'm very interested to find out what their relationship is gonna be like, cause you remember when they came, when um, when Brayden came to um give Effie the product, she was having sex with the other girl. Yeah. So I'm like, are we switching out now? Is is Effie and Diana gonna have a thing? Uh, what you think, man? It could be. It could be. But I do like that Effie is making Diana start to think, cause when Diana told her what had happened with the product. The first day that Effie was like, who would benefit? The most. The most off of your product yeah. not being legit. Yup. Because at the end of the day, why would your distro do that to you? Yeah. That don't make no sense. sense. That makes no sense. And I was saying the same thing. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> that doesn't make sense though. Yeah. And and the first thing that came to my mind was because Brayden had said that he had taken the drugs and locked them up on his um, family's property. Right. I said, did Trace get a hold of it and, and switch swap that it out. Skit out? Yeah. Because Trace is an a-hole. Exactly. And he would do something like that. But, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> I ain't seen this one coming. Yeah. But before we talk about that, we saw Drew, we saw Kane come back to the house. And Drew was sitting outside looking at the pictures of old boy on his phone. Uh, Everett. Everett, yeah. So they end up going down to the range and they got the shooting, but the whole the whole thing was Kane wanted to let him know that hey, I found a new connect. <laughs> yeah. That can help out the family. I can appreciate him teaching him how to shoot with his left hand, man. Yeah, he need yeah. to take me. Yeah, because I yeah. <laughs> he yeah. need to take me now. <laughs> I do feel vulnerable right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that out loud, but I did just say it. So he laid that on him then. And then we saw in the episode also with Drew and Zeke was together. So Kane was trying to help Drew and Zeke was trying to help Drew, mm -hmm. you know. So Zeke was trying to help him with the jump shot. Cause he was like, you know, this is what got me, you know, got me back, you know, shooting the jump shots. But Drew filled the beans to him about Monet's plan. Be like, yeah, Monet plan on putting the whole base of the whole family on your back. That's why she wants you to go to the NBA. And he was looking, you know, he, who? But you could see that he was hurt. He like, was very hurt. Like, because the way that she came at him was like. It was for your It message, was for your benefit. But. It's for my benefit. For, exactly. And we're just going to tag along. Yeah. But that kind of goes back to the, the title of the episode, Selfless Acts. And they said a whole lot of good stuff when they was in class. But it made me think, though. It's like, is there really selfless acts? Because you think about it, when you go into stuff, majority of times there is a benefit for you. You see what I'm saying? Even if it's peace, as yeah, a benefit. it's a benefit in yeah, there yeah. for you. I agree. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, it's something to think about. <laughs> so uh, now we on Zeke. So we saw that Zeke, you know, 
he ain't growing up, but he going he went to back to Professor Ingram's apartment was like, you know what? You know, I'm getting ready to try to go to the NBA, so I need to get serious, you know, I need to take care of my family. So uh we not gonna be able to see each other anymore. I said Z. Like Z <laughs> <laughs> But I knew what was about to happen was about to happen. Yes. So when he was in there, my wife was like, when he come back out, that got done detective is gonna be, be sitting right outside. And lo and behold, they he's were. sitting right out there. And as soon as Zeke left, he come up there questioning her, what 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 uh what's Zeke doing here? What's he here for? Then he put the okie doke on her because you remember Professor uh, Professor uh, Jabari got killed at night. So she was he was like, well, where were you? Where were you between the hours of seven and ten? And she was like, I was with Zeke. He was like, oh really? So you were a student between the hours of seven. Well, she was because he was there, right? I, I remember, remember. I think he was there. He probably was. I think he was there. That but time. I know what he's trying to get at is if. Zeke's story doesn't check out that Zeke is the, is the prime suspect now. Mm, right. 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 So last week, we was like really confused about this new connect that Kane was trying that to impress. But we saw, saw throughout the whole episode, this person kept showing up in this Trans Am playing New Edition. And we was like, who is this? I said, <laughs> shout out to Woody. Yeah. Shout out to Woody. <laughs> so we was like, who is this? And then at one point, we saw a girl get out the car. And I was like. Right. And even Monet was like, well, who is this? Like, because she knew who was supposed to step out there. Yeah. We didn't know. So later on in the episode, this was like towards the end, we had saw that he had, he showed up. And she was out there, and they was walking to each other, but they was looking at each other like, I know you. We had something. We had something. And we find out this week, his name is Dante, and they had something going. And I can remember in the comments, y'all, some of y'all said that he was going to be Monet's new boo, and you said the same thing. Yeah. Uh, he going to replace Lorenzo. Yep, yeah, he's going to be the Lorenzo. So, which I think that's going to be a problem. Because Lorenzo is definitely going to find out about that one. But however, she do need some more protection in these streets. And yeah. a connect. Yeah. But. Circling back. <laughs> but, yeah, circling back. So let's go back to Kane. <laughs> so Kane, before that, Kane took product to him and said, look, I stole these up off somebody. Somebody didn't know what they was doing. And so that dude was like, so you stole from your family? He was like, no, nah, that was just some 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 low life that I took you from. But and I, I replaced their sugar. stuff with sugar. I said, you my mother. So got Don Kane the went to Bright Braden's house. How you get up in there? Yeah, because he said not even the what did he say? Not even the He it, said it's, it's safer than, it's in in the the white, than the White House. Well, we saw what happened. Yeah, yeah. Man, the White but, House ain't that safe. Nah. <laughs> but uh well, the Capitol building well, anyway. Capitol. But, yeah, so, Kane the went in there and those... But we figured it out. He knew what he was doing because he was messing it up so that... They had to run back. They had to circle back. And that's what got him back in the family because you remember uh, Monet had went down to uh, to the pre engine with Lorenzo and they had anniversary sex and she told him about what Kane was trying to do. She was like, I need to connect. She was like, I'm sick of this booze skit. You know, we I wear the same busted lingerie every year. It's because it's my favorite. <laughs> it's because you don't know anything else. Right. <laughs> You've been locked up. You're institutionalized. Right. So he was like, if Kane got it to uh, connect. Take it. You need to take it. So Today. Today. And so that's what got Kane back in the house. So when Diane and Drew them saw Kane, they was like. So you can see in Diane's head, she got to thinking about what Effie said. Mm-hmm. Nice. About who has the most motive to do that to y'all that, that will benefit the most. And she was looking at him like, uh-huh. And she Kane asked Drew. <laughs> she said, Drew, did he pop up before or after? And she said, like, well, he popped up on me. She was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Got him. He did this skit to us. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, uh... So I don't I don't know how 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 all this gonna shake loose. We we seen um I think his name was Guap. 
Oh my God. He's still on his BS. I'm like, you got your A whooped by Kane for doing that social media skit. And then you're going to pull that skit with a new connect out the gate? Like showing yeah. his place? Yeah, showing his place. I'm like, yo, we doing it big now. And I'm like, so he got his fingers peeled back. I said, yeah. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I said, Stan, I'm at PTSD right now. I just had one of mine peeled back. Yeah. <laughs> he had all of his peeled back. So, yeah, man, this was a, a real good episode, man. Um, but let me tell we, you this. Anytime you see a dude walking around with a turtleneck on, watch him. Say watch him. <laughs> watch him. When I seen Woody pop up with that dead old turtleneck on, I said, first of all, this is taking me all the way back to the Bobby Brown thing. Uh-huh. I said, if he ain't looking like he about to do that. <laughs> I said, oh, he up to something. He got on that dead yeah. old, that cream turtleneck. I said, it's about to be something. And he set it up. Yeah. So, like I said, this was a good episode, but this new Connect Di um, Dante. Dante, I don't really trust him because we can see that he 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 don't take mistakes. Like, look, look what happened to Guap one time. Lost your fingers. So, I'm like, Kane is always screwing up. Yeah. So, I'm like, is Kane going to end up putting the whole family at jeopardy because of this? But, I don't know. They know each other. So, I... But I'm still I, I hung know. up on Monet taking this thing as easy as she did. So did she know that, that a setup was happening? And, and she didn't uh, want to just go in it and be like, okay, I surrender, Kane. I'll take your connect. I don't know. That you're going to have to work this thing like, like I, I need you, but I know what you're doing. I don't know. It was, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't figured that one out yet. I, I don't know. It, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, so Tasha's still in witness protection. So we don't we don't know where she Sari at. Sari got burnt the phone up. Sari got throw away the phone. So and the chill. he's totally disconnected from her now. So I don't know how he's going to find out where she at. Now, Zeke is on the chopping block because the detective saw him coming out the out the house. Because at the end of the episode, we saw that he was having sex with the with old girl. And the detective came and picked him up. And I said, and she had the phone and be like, you better not put your hands on him. I said, y'all know uh -huh. something. I said, so, listen, Zeke, don't open your mouth until your lawyer gets there. Because I could see Zeke right there. Well, but, <laughs> but the whole plan was to keep Zeke out of all, all of, of this. And he right in the And now he in right in the middle of it, man. So and Monet. Not for those reasons, but for Cooch. Yeah. So Monet, I don't know if if the NBA, if um, Zeke's NBA gonna be your plan. I think he'll be end up in the game because yeah, this is not gonna look good oh, to the he press. Has, he can't be in the game. Yeah, it's not gonna look good <laughs> in the press that he getting picked up by detectives for a murder case. A professor at his school. That ain't gonna look good. But uh, y'all, let us know what y'all think in the comments, man. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty cell. Chew up. Two down. Holla!